tanto. Pwede ayaw mo, no? Nasa, nandito na tayo sa loob. Ano naman yung ano? Kaso walang pila, mas okay lang. Anong kulay doon siya? No, pa. na, totoo na. Ah, nandun na pala tayo sa kalagitnaan. Ano kasi na yun? Istorya, saan ba siya banda? on digital. Akala ko ano, Japan or China. Ayun lang kasi kilala niya. <laughs> or lahat talaga first. Chacha lang. These are more like on university campuses with uh, limited access to sort of regular citizens because they're still in testing phases. <laughs> but robots are yes used for deliveries. Okay. Uh, so what's the And this is actually a, a sort of like an artistic representation of the digital network that holds all of these services together. Uh, because in reality, it's the citizen who provides all of these services because of security reasons databases are separate. Here it's the light that runs through them every five seconds that kind of connects them into one cohesive network. Uh, okay. Even this one? Uh, that one is slightly different. Uh, that was done by a science center in Estonia for the city of Tartu uh, because they were chosen as the cultural capital of Europe for 2024 and it's also the startup city of Estonia. So it's kind of a homage to it. When you start your uh, document for filing taxes, essentially the tax office gets permission from your employer to pull all your 
data. They get data from the banks of all your incomes and the outcomes. And then they just file it already in the system. And then you simply open it, read it through. If everything is correct, you click submit, it takes three minutes. So it's the simplicity. So that's good. They will know when you get a big money immediately. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much impossible to commit uh, monetary fraud yeah. in Estonia. You, you're going to get caught pretty yeah. much immediately. Yeah, yeah we're uh, one of the least corrupted countries in the world. I wanted to go there. <laughs> because there's always... Uh, so, aside, aside from technology, do you have like, uh, like lands like this? Uh, essentially, half of our country is covered by forests. Oh, oh. My forest. And the rest of it is like bogs and wetlands and grasslands. Mm. So we have like a couple of, sort of small cities because you can't call them like large scale cities because our population is 1.3 million. Oh. So uh, everybody has a lot of space. Mm. And the people like going hiking and just spending time in nature. And... It's good to stay there. Yeah. What's your diet? Uh, we have our own language, it's called Estonian. It's similar to Finnish. Uh, it's uh, only related to Hungarian. Of the other European languages, everything else is foreign. But people can understand Yes. Over 90% have learned it in school, because it's usually the first or the second foreign language. And Estonians usually speak at least two or three foreign languages. And how many seasons do they have? Four. Four. Yes. <laughs> Theoretically, we also have a fifth one, which is between winter and spring, before the ground uh, melts. Uh -huh. But the snow is already melting, then you have massive floods. Oh, so you can go canoeing in a forest. Oh. So that's the, fourth, uh, the fifth season. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah. My name is Mari. Mari. Yes. Thank you, thank you for your Are information. You Are you busy? Mm -hmm. Are you busy? I came just for the expo. Oh, then you're you're going going back. How do you feel it's going to end but soon? Yeah, but I've been here for over five months already, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm.